and it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Ball and Levine are the guard set. MP is out there at DeRozan, and it's Vucevic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Levine. Here's Santos, uses the glass to finish the layup. MP's got his team on the board to start the game for Chicago. And here are the Pacers now. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down. And really, the story of the game. And, you know, that's a big part of how they attack and win, getting it going from the three-point line. But at the end of the day, it didn't happen. Now, ball. After the miss three from Buddy Heel, Vucevic setting the pick for Levine. Gets an open look and hits. Well, you know, this is the thing. When Levine's in rhythm, the shooting motion looks pure and effortless. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Rick Carlisle and I did speak a few minutes ago. This is their second meeting with this team. The first one didn't go as well as they liked, so this time around, they're going to try to close the lane off, push drivers and slashers as far away from the basket as possible. We'll see how that goes, Kevin. Thank you, David. Now, here's MP, and he comes up with the deuce. MP's got his second basket of the night. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. McConnell passes to heel. And again, unable to change momentum here. Now here's DeRozan. He's guarded closely. Vucevic, solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Five buckets without a miss. That's a fantastic start. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And putting that pressure. Yes, everyone. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. McConnell kicks to heel. That three off the mark. Putting up a goose egg. Bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. And he makes that one. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. Here's Matherin coming off a solid outing against Phoenix. And that's an important basket there. The game was in danger of getting away from him here early if they let that run go on much longer. This state of Indiana, Clark, they are crazy about the game of basketball on a Part of the DNA of the Hoosier State. Drawing huge fans, college games. They love the college hoopsters. And at the pro level, the Pacers and Fever both have loyal and um, strong followers. And the Bulls making a change here. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for DeMar DeRozan. Alex Caruso. He's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Dosumu in for ball. And it's Drummond with the jam. And I like the timing that Drummond has on these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely when to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. Now here's Jackson. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. The tough shots aren't going down for him right now. But neither are the easy ones. I mean, he's got to find the rhythm somehow. Santos, the pass to Caruso. Back to MP. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, here's McConnell. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Duarte. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. 
MP deciding where to go with it. Chicago now working with the new shot clock. Another shot, and it's good on the way up. MP's got 11. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Smith finds McConnell. Off the run, and it's sent back by Drummond. How about that swat by Drummond? Using all of his height into the first quarter with the score. No pitchers. Two. The Bulls. 19. Some changes. Jackson, he's checked in. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident. But when coaches are always critical, it can take you out of your game. Makes you just start to think a little too much on the floor. So for Chicago right now, Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with MP. And it's Vucevic in at the five spot. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Here's Heald. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got six rebounds now in the game. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Ball with the bucket. Lonzo Even before Lonzo filled into his frame, he had a gift for rebounding, and the stronger he gets, I think the more of those he's going to come up with. McConnell passes to Matherin. And that'll be two free throws. First personal foul. First team foul. Second Excellent spot-up shooter. He, he plays above the rim. And once he gets more comfortable scoring off the bounce, watch it. So many options, and he has the physical tools to be a great defender. The Pacers making a switch here. Duarte is checked in. DeRozan against Taylor. Pass to MP. Vucevic trying to get open. And MP gets it to go on the assist from DeRozan. DeRozan's got five assists tonight. The pass to be Thompson. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Vucevic with the block. Get that weak stuff out of here. You can't come weak like that against Vucevic. He's going to send it back at you. And that one is good. 21 points for MP. Everything going to plan here to start the third. 80% shooting thus far. Healed outside. Passes it to McConnell. Six to shoot. Ball with the rebound. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA-caliber players. 
Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Here's Trogic from outside. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Trogic has got himself on the board with three there. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Jackson a screen on Drogic. McConnell passes to Jackson. Here's Duarte. He's covered by ball. Here's Brissett. Misses, and the dry spell continues. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. And the layup's good off the glass. Taylor's got eight. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. MP outside. And there's the drive. Unable to get that one. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They get to take on the Magic at Orlando after this one. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Got to have some guts and guile to take it to the bucket strong despite the big fella standing in the way. Rockets dishes to MP. Drummond the screen. MP kicks to Dragic. MP against Taylor. Here's Santos. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Indiana's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. The shot no good by Duarte. McConnell against Dragic. Pass to Santos. Plays it up and banks it in. MP's got 27 points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Your So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now. So give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and. If you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So, I make a happy Corona 9-5. You'll have a great day and peace out.